Hey everyone, uh, welcome to my third floss tube video. And I wrote down everything so I'd know what to say uh, so I don't repeat myself. But uh, right now I have over 180 subscribers, which is awesome, and uh, 420 views on my first video, and 230. 230? Yeah, 230 views on my second video, which is awesome. So thank you to all the people who have subscribed, commented, liked. Um, and what have you. So thank you, it means a lot to me. I also want to thank uh, Cowgirl Kate Paints a Plenty for her shout out in one of her videos. So I'll link her in the subscription or in the description bar. And then as well as to Karen Fox, I'll link her below as well. Uh, for giving or for writing on my last video, she commented and said that uh, she had the Halloween just cross stitch 2015 magazine and she wasn't using it anymore and she offered to send it to me for free. So that's really sweet and generous. So thank you. I'll leave them both below. But if you guys are already following me, you can follow me on Instagram. I'll, the link is on my main uh, YouTube page. And then uh, I apologize for my last video being blurry. I forgot to, I was sick and forgot to fix it and what have you so hopefully this one isn't going to be blurry but I will show you my hauls uh, I have some books and some frames that I got at the thrift stores so first up I have this book I got this for two dollars and it's this needle point gifts for all uh, seasons so that's cool uh, I got this book which is cross stitch from a country garden I got that for two dollars uh, cross stitch inspirations in color. This one was also two dollars. And Christmas cross stitch, and this was I think a dollar. Yeah, a dollar. So I got all of those. So you know that's awesome to get the books for really cheap. And then I got some frames. I got this one for seventy five cents, and the glass is kind of loose in it, but got that one. got this one for $2.50 and it has a uh, a poem or something in it. I'm just gonna take that out. And this one I got for... is this the one I got for... no, I got this one for five dollars. I got this one for a dollar fifty. This one has a picture of a girl in it, but... This one for a dollar. Uh, this one for three dollars has a poem or something in it. I'm just gonna remove that. And then I got this one for a dollar because there was no price tag on it, and the woman, the cashier, gave it to me for a dollar. So those are awesome, and uh, yeah, super excited. I got everything you saw there for under twenty-five dollars. So that's a that's a big deal to me. Uh, they're heavy, and uh, yeah. So big, huge awesomeness to go to the thrift store. Well, I got them all at one thrift store, but uh, yeah. So yay to frames, and uh, I will show you my. Those are the haul. That's the haul I have. Um, I'll show you my whips and projects. So first up, this has a little bit of dust on it. Uh, this is the snowman. Uh, the snowman um, project, the one I showed last time that I got, I started to work on it. And then this is the progress that I've made on the Savannah cross stitch birth, or the birth record. So I've done a little bit more of the back stitching up here and a little bit over there, a little bit on the bird, and then I started the elephant. So. And then I have two projects that I finished. So, do this the right way. I made this. There we go. Oops. I'm trying to focus for you guys. I made this bookmark for my boyfriend uh, in Elvish script. I created the uh, design myself, and uh, it's not all the not all of those one. <laughs> not all those who wander are lost. 
so he's a big Lord of the Rings fan and I thought that this bookmark would be perfect. I used three different colors of green. I can't remember the colors that I picked out but they're DMC threads and then to give it a little bit more dimension and then I used, I don't know what material this is because I got this in a piece of, uh, from his mom. It was in a bunch of scraps so I thought this would be perfect. And then finally I finished this. There it is. I framed it with the frame that you, one of the frames you saw in the last video. And that's what it looks like. So, uh, you're the one. I don't want the glare because there's a window like right, right there. Uh, you're the one who fills my world with sunshine. So, that's what it looks like. And, uh, I posted this on my Instagram. And, uh, uh, Citrovia Emma, she basically commented and said, like, good job, so that was awesome. But, uh, yeah, that's about all I have to show you guys. This is a quick video. Uh, I just thought I'd put one out there, but be sure to comment, subscribe, like, you know, I write every bit back. I'm going through and watching, uh, people's videos right now that have commented and, uh, or not commented, that have subscribed to me that actually make videos. I'm going through and watching people's videos, so I usually comment on the first video and we'll say that, uh, here we go, we'll say that uh, I'm watching your videos. So uh, my boyfriend is supposed to be visiting next week for Easter and I'm going back to his place. So I will show what I haul then. So the video might be earlier or later uh, than normal. And uh, I did order a couple of needle monitors off of Etsy. So they're being made right now. And then I think they're supposed to be shipping on the 24th. So I ordered a couple of those. I'll keep those secret until I get them and show you what they're like and tell you who I got them from. But yeah, thank you to everybody who has subscribed, commented, liked, all that jazz. It means a lot to me. And again, thank you to Cowgirl Kate Paints a Plenty. I'd write it down um, for the shout out. That's awesome. And to Karen Vox, um, I messaged you on YouTube and you didn't message me back or let me know. So uh, I saw that you were from Canada. I gave you my... Uh, boyfriend's address in the states so I uh, I messaged you back and said you know because I know you're Canadian if you prefer to send it to me in Canada then uh, that's all good but uh, I think that's about it like I'm pretty happy with the bookmark again I don't know what like what fabric this is if it's Ada or even weave um, I'm not sure the holes were really really small compared to like a 14 or a 16 so I don't know what this is but uh, I think it turned out pretty good so yeah, I found uh, the I found a uh, the Elvish script on Google, and then I just tr converted it over to uh, cross stitch. So again, gave it like you know. Uh, I'm not sure if that's gonna focus or not. Oh, there we go. Um, I gave it three colors to add dimension, but he really liked this a lot, so yay. Um, and then I'm pretty happy with the progress because I've been playing Stardew Valley on <laughs> Steam. My boyfriend bought that for me and it's been very addicting. Um, it's kind of like Harvest Moon but on the computer, which is awesome because I love Harvest Moon. So I kind of been taking breaks from this and playing that for a while and then going back to this, but I've made decent progress on it, so yeah. And then uh, the snowman, which you know, this is not going to take super long. I worked on this for a few hours and I got this. And uh, yeah, it's done with, like all of this was done on, I think this is a 14 count Ada uh, black, which I've never worked on black before. And uh, these are all like three threads. And then you go back in with two and then do a little bit of one in the white. And then a little bit of more colors. This only has like five or six colors, I think. So, and there is back stitching and stuff. But uh, yeah, so far so good. So I think that's about it. So yeah, if you guys want to comment, subscribe, like, do all that stuff, then definitely. But I wanted this to be a quick video because my battery's dying. But uh, yeah, thank you everybody. And I hope you have a fantastic day. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you soon. Bye everyone.